Do you have a great idea for a podcast? Or maybe you already have a podcast, but you're getting overwhelmed with editing or production. Head over to EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com. They have everything you need from intros and outros to editing work, voiceover, you name it. That's EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com. Podcasting simplified. If you will, please allow me to say some famous quotes about chaos. Chaos in nature is immediately challenging and forces a good artist to impose some type of order. Every chaos has an order hidden in it. What we need to do is make our way through the chaos and the order will sort itself out for us. Chaos in the world brings uneasiness, but also allows for the opportunity for growth. Chaos at the bottom means order at the top. Chaos is not the lack of order, it's merely the absence of order that the observer is used to. Chaos in the midst of chaos isn't funny, but chaos in the midst of order is. Chaos is realizing none of these bullshit quotes are even remotely true. Instead, chaos is recording three hours of audio using less than two, all while proving that three married guys still get kind of fucking nervous around new women. Maestro, stop spiking the punch at this middle school dance and hit my goddamn music. Welcome back to Needless to Say. I'm Dave, and I'm here with two dicks, four tits, and Craig. <laughs> I think I count as four myself. If I'm not mistaken, there's a penis unaccounted for. Where is that? <laughs> Craig? Ah, uh, fuck off. <laughs> so y'all may have noticed we have a couple of extra voices floating around here. Yep. We have a couple of friends joining us this evening, right? We'll we'll get to introductions soon, I suppose. I guess. I don't right. know. Maybe. We, we didn't really plan this. We just figured no. they, they were friends of ours. They're sitting in. Sure. So we'll do the formal introduction in a minute. But, All right. Uh, how's everybody's week going? It's over. Yeah. Mine's fucking over. <laughs> fucking had it. I've been home with a sick two-year-old all week, for half the week anyway. I'm ready. I'm done. That's cool, because I've been recording with two sick fucking three-year-olds for, like, a hundred episodes now. <laughs> Leave your dating life out of this. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, I mean, you normally have some kind of weird family story every week. I Dave. got nothing this week. You got man. nothing. You had a sick got, kid and that was fucking That it. was my week. Like, Get I was, the fuck out of the grave. Was, <laughs> so, you to, that was the only person in the house that shit its pants this week. That's right. Okay. That's right. And she's supposed to. She's got a diaper. All right. Yeah. No. So, I mean, that was, that was most of my time was trying to work and balance that out and yep not fun but oh no I, our listeners agree oh yeah so. <laughs> god damn it see i said a precedent i shit myself three or four times and you guys expect it every week now yeah, <laughs> yeah god we do. damn all right hang on yeah <laughs> stop just dosing his, his beers with x-lax <laughs> if you actually take mandy's advice it'll happen a lot a lot more yeah <laughs> We'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to follow through on this story for sure. Mm -hmm. Craig, how was your week, brother? Um, pretty much the same. I worked all week, so you know how that is. It sucked. I fucking hated it. and That was it. <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> Couldn't wait for this week to come. It was a long fucking week. It was fucking brutal. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> this is the worst fucking intro it's, of this oh, show. Oh, it's, yeah. it's horrible! I, yeah, did you see L what I wrote last week? We had nothing but fucking cans banging around. Way more entertaining than <laughs> the two of you fucking idiots right now. Well, I, you know, I, I had the sick kid. You know how kids get when they're sick? They get really needy. Like, you know what that's like? Fran knows what it's like. <laughs> you know, so it's just it sucks. I didn't have time to do anything right, else. Fuck this! I gotta yep. throw you guys a softball. This week, Brad is off beer. Yes. Okay, I am drinking the fucking seltzers again. Because on Monday, I had what I'd like to call an episode. And that was basically <laughs> both sides of my fucking waist just hurt. And yep. everything I peed was painful. And I said, you know what? That's this a yeast infection. Made a, 
<laughs> it you might need be. To drink cranberry juice, <laughs> not seltzers. And I'll be honest with you, I have the official drink of yeast infections right here. And Early that would be onset menopause and a yeast infection. That's what's going on. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, good. See, see, things are flowing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, things yeah, are flowing. That's exactly my point. Clearly not for you. Yeah. <laughs> And that was Mandy. Mandy and Christy, say hello, folks. Hey. Sup, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You may remember Mandy and Christy from the episode that we sounded like we recorded underwater. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And that's because we tried to do a Skype call with them, but they also had a speaker in front of them and there was such a goddamn echo. Yeah. You know, but that it did was... make them sound way, way hotter. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're disappointing in real life. What was so the... Are we? What was the... Um, what was the episode? That was like it, that was. We like were third, talking 20s, about in the twenties, late twenties, yeah. early thirties. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Mike was still there. Dave was just a glint in our eye. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and yeah, we just decided to have this call because Christy's been such an amazing supporter, and Mandy became one eventually. Yep. And so they decided since they were hanging out in the neighborhood. They were going to come by tonight and do this. And like three guys at a, like a middle school dance, the instant two women show up in the thing, we don't know how to do this show anymore. Yeah. You guys lost your minds. You guys lost your minds. It was. All right. So, Christy, lead off. Introduce yourself again to the audience. We know you and love you. We name drop you what, yeah, weekly we at this point. Constantly. Hey, I'm Christy. Um, I run ntsrundowns.com, except for the fact that I don't do rundowns anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's more of a companion site. And um, I'm up from Savannah. And if you guys want me to do a Southern accent, I have to channel somebody because <laughs> I've been up here for a day and I've already lost it. <laughs> it's perfect. It's yeah. good. <laughs> well, you're actually drinking the official drink of retarded people, so it should come natural. Yeah. <laughs> Brad's pissed because I'm drinking Bud Light, but he couldn't find Shipyard Pumpkinhead beer. I chose not to find it because it's, it's fucking it's, August. It's too no, early. No, <laughs> it, it is, comes it is. out at the beginning of August. Fuck you. Listen, <laughs> just because it comes out at the beginning of August doesn't mean it's the right time to drink it. No, be, listen. listen. It was too Fight me. early. Fight me in the driveway. <laughs> I'll fucking flip the table here. I don't care. You and your pink phone. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I can buy TurboTax in December. I'm not touching that shit till April. <laughs> right? There's a time and a place for everything. <laughs> I will start Christmas shopping before I start drinking pumpkin beer. Yep. Okay, good for you. <laughs> Damn it, <Jane. laughs> But no, literally, Brad was like, okay, well, I'll get you pumpkin beer. I said, no, get me a pumpkin head. If you can't, get me Bud Light. That's because a drop. I'm, it's like if yeah, you can't yeah. get me lobster, then can you pick up some Sour Patch Kids? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was either that or vodka, and I knew I couldn't do vodka. All I right. have vodka in the house. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right, Mandy, all introduce right, Mandy. yourself. And I know that it, this is tough for you, but if you want to come out of your shell, now's the time. Yeah. <laughs> You're hilarious. Thank you. Um, well, Christy just sounds really fancy. She's oh. like, oh, well, Once literally, I, I drive a truck. And I deliver potato chips, and that's ex- as exciting deliver, as it gets. That's fantastic. <laughs> but I have red hair, so that's fun. Mm-hmm. Both both of our listeners just got such boners right now. She drives a truck <laughs> and delivers <laughs> fucking chips. Let's not get too excited. It's a 16-foot box truck, so it's pretty much like a big van. But you know what? Box. I do. And she said box. <laughs> but I do. I do. Ha- yes. The same hey, truck hey. That was- <laughs> you talk about the box of the redhead? All right, let's be real. License plate says moist. <laughs> <laughs> Is the same truck they were looking for in the Washington D.C. shootings? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Christy? Why'd you blow me up? It's got flames eyelash- on the sides does and have, inside. Does it have eyelashes on the headlights? <laughs> How gay do I look to you? You're wearing a flag shirt. You look like a Donald Trump wet dream right now. <laughs> I'm going to be really quiet about that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so here's my life. I'm a single lady. <laughs> Enjoying it. You're welcome. And I have red hair-ish, and I drive a truck, and that's pretty much as exciting as it gets. There you go. I don't know. And my friend Christy, who introduced me to your show, she drinks, and you know, I probably slammed about four uh, espresso martinis before I came here. So here I am. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> and yeah, 
Yeah, that's yeah. about it. You're all hopped up on caffeine and booze. You'll be face down on the table yeah. throwing Well, minutes. she is driving. I oh, am. Right. I am technically. <laughs> I decided to have the uh, martinis before we came because I am driving home. And I have to work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Nice. That's right. Because I don't know. Everyone you, needs their chips seen. for breakfast. That's right. Hey, chipping ain't easy. <laughs> I bet any money that's painted on the side of that yeah. fucking truck. Right I did make t-shirts. Not gonna lie. That's copyrighted for all of you. Okay. okay. So if you ever just wanted to like fuck a fat guy, you just like play the music like an ice cream truck. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not into fat guys. I know some so people So you're in are. the right business then. Right. Yeah. I'm not into fat guys. I do enjoy taking their money though. Thank you. Wow. It really is a recession proof business, isn't it? I, I never realized how fat people were until I got into the chip business. No, it's like, oh my God, we're going to get one inch of snow. Go to the grocery store. Instead of buying buying milk and eggs, it's like, get all the snacks. Yeah. I am yeah. sold out. I'm like, yes. The second the weatherman comes on and says that there's going to be snow, I'm like, woo, cha-ching. Because no. <laughs> people are fat. Who That's are you it. expecting to meet in this line of work? You, you, like um, I don't gurus? meet anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the really creepy old guys who tell me to keep it fit. Keep it I, fit. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. First of all, I am not attractive when I go to work. I am wearing very long, in the summer, long shorts, a collared sleeve, like, shirt. Yeah, I'm hungover most of the time. So you dress like Doug from King of Queens. I, yeah. yes, yes. I, yes, pretty much. And so the only people who are grocery shopping at 6 a.m. in the morning are the old retired guys who meet up for coffee in the morning and talk about the town. Yeah. And just like pedophiles, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, they need chips. Right? <laughs> they do. They leave a trail of them. Yeah. yeah. It's too early to go behind their mics. Yeah. <laughs> it's some Hanson and Gretel shit going on. Yeah. So. Oh my God. But yeah, I had one guy come up to me one time. I was bending over, which <clears throat> the way I'm going to say this is going to sound bad. But yes. I am on my knees a lot of time <laughs> in the day. Which is why you needed a cushion. Thank you. <laughs> But I am on my knees because I'm stocking the shelves. And a lot of the older gentlemen, well, let's be real, not gentlemen, the older guys that come in are like, hey, you on your knees often? And I'm like, oh, my God, Do marry I me. Like, let's do this. <laughs> that is the best pickup line ever. You just swept me off my knees. Let's do this. You swept me <laughs> off my knees. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to. Just if you, say it. If you were in porn, you would be Jug Heffernan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. <laughs> God, God, the night is young. All right. So we have a kind of a ritual tradition we do around here. Whenever somebody comes to visit, we go back to the hat. And so we're going to ask you girls to dip into Scully over here. His head comes right off. <laughs> yep. Um. Christy, met, right. met you first. Can we get a beer out of this situation? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, so we're gonna let, let me stock everybody up. Yeah, Craig. I'm running low. <laughs> the designated driver needs a beer. For those who keep me track. Safety first. <laughs> all right, Christy, what did you right, dig all out? All right, I dug out. What old person thing do you do? <laughs> <laughs> We can modify this. What old people do you do is also acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> the guys in my I could go with either or with Christy, but continue. <laughs> what old person thing do I do? Can I answer for her? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. She's an English teacher. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Wait, you can oh, but never... you're not doing that anymore. I'm okay, not doing okay, that, but Okay, the English teacher... Writer doesn't die in you. She I was gonna, still corrects text messages. I was going to say, it must be tough to be an English teacher in Georgia. Yeah. Well, that's why like, I don't. Worse than teaching in a foreign country. I an aneurysm when I yeah. message you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I said, he has Craig, an do you have a stroke? Like, yeah. just, what happened? He nearly has one every time he sends a text. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what, what happened? What happened to you? <laughs> I'm legitimately Yeah, today he concerned. had a belt for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm just going to throw a belt down my throat. But I meant to write BLT. <laughs> <laughs> just going to throw a belt down my throat and hop you in guys, the shower. You ask what's wrong with him, but it's like, I just met you and 
There's a lot of questions there. <laughs> See, she's thinking like, oh, you put a belt down your throat? I know yeah. you like fingers in your ass. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it's a thing. Early, earlier today, I did wouldn't have mind having a belt around my neck. It was a bad day. I, I thought you, you had a great week at work. You've already had your weekend review. Yeah. Move along. Yeah. What happened? No, it was what just happened? bad. Like a belt around your neck attached to like attached a doorknob? Like doorknob. Yeah, yeah. Like shower, a sexual shower pleasure? Rod. Or yeah. no, no, no. Like you want to hang yourself. No, yeah, There's yeah. a difference, No, buddy. I was going full on. Full, I watched, you're I going full enough. Cornell on I was, I was going to say, he's going full, for the Bennington belt. Yeah, I was going for the Bennington. The <laughs> and Bennington Jeffrey route. Epstein. Yeah. Yep, there's that. Which, oh, no, yeah, but see, Corn, that. Cornell and Bennington did it themselves. That's Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Epstein part- had some guidance. Yeah. <laughs> so, Christy, is that your answer? You're, you're, you were an English teacher, or do you have something else that popped in your mind? I think the only old, I, I think I do correct people, or like, I, I don't correct my friends, but I go <laughs> after random people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever they <laughs> they spell something wrong. All right, but it's, you work in a bar right now. You're bartending, and you hang out with nothing but. I, I can only imagine they're crusty. Y- yeah. Just yeah. call it a hunch. They're they're old <laughs> and southern. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are are veterans, which is great. But uh, we also have an open policy at my bar, so anybody can walk in. Yeah. And anybody oh. does walk in? Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like you've got a lot, a lot of like uncle dads and stuff. Don't uncle you? dads. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the right words. One of them's name is Rusty. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Rusty. So I think that's, that's the only old person thing I do. Really? Like and maybe I drive really slow when, you know. You there's... do not drive slow. I was. I was afraid the whole time we were driving here <laughs> i put the speed thing on on 75 maybe 76 old people don't speed drive speed limits 75. 25 in bristol no 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 down 24 exactly. oh. down 24 oh, no. <laughs> side streets homegirl it was like 20 she's like eh, 45 seems fair <laughs> <laughs> the only other old person thing that i can say that you do is yeah complain about your back <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I moved down south and I got a new chiropractor and now my back is okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that, which is why I'm bartending again. Because I was told by my chiropractor up here I wouldn't be able to bartend again. And then he was like, oh, yeah, you can bartend. We'll fix you if you, fi- if you fuck yourself up. I was like, okay. Nice. So, it's it's called that. repeat business. Yep. Yes. That's yeah. It. They're like, yeah, yeah. Do, it, do it more. Do whatever yeah. you want. Do it yeah. more. My therapist says the same thing. If I fuck myself <laughs> up, she'll fix yeah, <laughs> the chiropractor. Do you lift weights? No. You should try it. <laughs> Give it a shot. Have you tried repelling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you lift those cases, you want to bend straight forward, keep your knees straight, and just jerk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jerk it straight with up. Your back. Like, yeah. <laughs> Not with your knees, with your back. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Craig? Let's go clockwise. Well. I tend to yell at little kids a lot yeah, from do. my front yard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> happened again this week. It happened again this week. I actually called the cops. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Shut up. No, right, that's no, right. I, no, I... Were they in your yard? No, what happened was there was a... Um, I was sitting on my deck, and I just had the new fence put up and yep. shit. So I see that uh, all of a sudden... I hear, and your pool is dead. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sitting out on the deck, and I hear this slam against my fence, and then I see this kid running. So I'm like, this kid either just kicked my fence or threw something at it or something. So I run over to get like, hey, damn kid, get away from my fence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but when I, I got up some there, grays. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got up, I, I uh, get over to the side, I climb up on top of my uh, fire pit that I got in the yard, yep. and I look over the fence, and there's a bike against the fence. And the chain is off, and the kid is running full speed down the bike path. So like this kid stole, he stole this that bike. bike. The chain oh, fell God. off and he ditched it and that's what hit the fence. So because of that, I started immediately thinking there's some other kid whose bike's missing. You know what I mean? So I said, "Let me at least call the cops, get the cops down here to get the bike." Yeah. And I even I didn't describe the kid and I was just like, "I saw he was just running." I said, "I really didn't see him, you know." Craig speak but, your truth. What? Just say there was one black kid. <laughs> <laughs> We're going there? It was a trend. No, because there's one black kid in the whole neighborhood. Well, that's going to make it... You're a good Samaritan. It's going to make it easier on the cops. Yeah. It was Joey. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, 
Nah, so that was the only reason why I called the cops. Was I was thinking some other little kid's bike's missing. You know, so at least get sure, his bike back. Sure, But Because usually I just tend to yell at them. <laughs> I did tell a little kid to fuck off. At the fuck. I told him to go fuck himself at the gas station. He was about seven. Was that this was the, the kid first that was time here at fuck. Is this yeah. the kid that was flipping you off? Yeah. 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 All right, well, he earned it. Yeah, he, yeah, did. he did. He yeah. earned that. I mean, to be fair, Mandy, I do yell at kids a lot. <laughs> As a bartender? <laughs> no. In my house. It is, it is down south. I'm just saying. Just, Those crusty nine year old Georgians. <laughs> no, no, they don't, they don't they let, come in. I, I've seen some shit. They don't let, <laughs> they don't let kids in the bar. That's why all the parents just leave them in the cars at the windows. Yeah. Up. <laughs> no joke that happened to me when I was bartending one time. Oh, it happens Someone all the time. Someone left you in the car while they went drinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Mandy, I think you might have gotten yours out, but what old people <laughs> habits do you have? And Christy, feel free to chime in on that. I go to bed at like 6.30, 7 yeah, o'clock at night. Yeah, she does. Well, I mean, but she works early, but that's what's the matter. Oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Um. Yes, yes. I do work. I'm up for work at like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Oh. Yeah, it blows, but I'm at the bar at 1 o'clock yeah, my, in the know, afternoon. My, my neighbor does that. He doesn't drive truck, but he's he's the head of like so a... So he's not cool? No, nah, he's pretty cool. He He's he's like the the um, the head of the grounds crew at a, a golf course. Oh, solid. I love oh, golf. Oh, yes. Well, like, Don't so talk he, to me But he's up at like 3, 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. He's out, but he's home by 2, 30, 3 o'clock in the well, afternoon. But let's focus on the second part of what Christy, uh, uh, what Mandy said. And that was that she's at the bar at one in the afternoon. So you have yep. like first dibs on every unemployed guy in town, right? Oh, my God. So <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. Like I said, I'm single. And so my uncle. So you're choosy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm very picky. So. Just kicks the door like, who wants Fritos? <laughs> Fuck you. I don't deliver, deliver Frito. They are the competition. Oh, <laughs> she's a Lay's girl. Excuse me. Yeah. Lay's and Frito oh, no, are the same Frito. thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I deliver Uts. Thank Uts. you. Oh, shit. All your Uts and Bachman. Enjoy. Uts are the best, um, best salt and vinegar chips on the planet. I know. That's what I hear. Yeah. I don't eat chips, which is funny because, well, actually, I'd be the size God, of my truck I, if I did. If, but. if I was delivering potato chips, I'd just nah. show up and be like, oh, fuck, sorry, they fell out. No. <laughs> uh, Again? I, Craig, you get to accidents just every grease. week. <laughs> and there's all of my shirt. I'm sorry I didn't bring you guys a barrel of balls. <laughs> Cheese balls, I mean. Um, no, so it was funny. So my uncle, who's retired, he's like, why have you met a good guy? I'm like, because uh, I'm at the bar at one o'clock in the afternoon. Any guy I pick up at one o'clock in the afternoon at a bar on a Tuesday is probably not who I want to bring home to the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the truth is you can have your fun with him and be back there by four. Well, That's maybe that happens, but I'm not disclosing that information. <laughs> but no, it's funny. But maybe, you could also be maybe, meeting, uh, maybe around. if you move down to Georgia, right? Yep. Yeah, the then humidity. At one cool. in the afternoon, you meet that guy in the bar. You don't have to bring him home to the family because they're there. <laughs> and you have happy hour down there. I was wondering where you were going with that, and I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, and you have happy hour because Massachusetts doesn't allow it. No, nope, no happy hour. Yeah, because nope. we don't know how to handle it. Yeah, we go. And it runs from like two to six, sometimes two to seven. <laughs> <laughs> two to six to two to seven. I wouldn't be mad about a happy hour at that hour. You, you could be, you could be time. missing out on a fellow like chip delivery person yeah um actually might have dated a few <laughs> <laughs> she's a couple of um, you dipping into say. the pringles uh, <laughs> no more like uh, the cape cod uh, all right <laughs> well wait that's like a high-end chip yeah you're, not you're, that you're dealing with dark russets are you yeah. <laughs> Uts does, does the dark russet. Thank y'all. I'll bring some next time if I'm invited back. Oh. No such thing as a black Irish chip. <laughs> I'm just amazed Craig that was liked, actually Craig. I'm just amazed Craig <laughs> liked Uts because that's such a Jewish sounding name. Avita's <laughs> <laughs> A. They made the first chips. So, like I said, I deliver them. I don't eat them. But, um, so we deliver Bachman's, which is the Jack's, yeah. which we like to call Dorchester shrimp. Dorchester. <laughs> you said it. Dorchester. It's Dorchester. I'm sorry. Who says Dorchester? Everybody else. Oh, Everybody yes, else yes. on the planet. Nobody. Nobody. Everybody Nobody. South of Massachusetts. Nobody. It's, no, it's Dorchester, Dorchester shrimp. Yeah. But yes, so 
my old person habit is going to bed early. You are lucky I'm here right now because <laughs> what time is it? It's, oh God, yeah. It's like two and a half hours past my bedtime. It's past Jeopardy. Are you okay? D- bitch, I don't make it to Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Like okay, first of all, you can't done come done. at me with like like tough street talk, like bitch, and you can't like cock your head and say I'm in bed by six thirty, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but the thing is though, nobody can see you right now, and you have the hand gesture, like you're like yeah. Well, because yeah. I actually agreed with you, you about the Dorchester thing. Yeah. Isn't that where the Wahlbergs are from? I guess so. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Sure. You know. Don't act like you don't. No, yeah. well, right? Robert is not from Dorchester. Yes, he is. Is he? The, like, ultimately? I'm sorry. Is Donnie and Paul from yeah, no, but Dorchester, I don't but Mark's not? I don't know. No. Where'd he grow up? I thought they were, like, from South Shore. Mark grew up on the streets, yo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. Let's move know. this along because I think I've heard enough about <laughs> Massachusetts and Chips. Well, <laughs> your old person thing. Well, we got to hit Dave okay. first. Go ahead. Are get, we going to talk about my old person things? Yes. yes. All right. So besides shitting myself every so often? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's got to be a second one. I would I almost said a number two, but you already have that. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Depends. <laughs> Depends. Uh, no, they're definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I, I go around the house and I turn things off that aren't being used. Lights, I shut doors. Thermostat, touching the thermostat fucking every 30 minutes. I I. I, yeah, it drives me crazy. <laughs> so in the in the mornings, Randall get she gets up first. She she gets in the shower, and when she gets out of the shower, she opens the bathroom door. The windows open in the bathroom, right? So she gets some fresh air. Bathroom door comes open. I wake up about the time she's out when the baby wakes up. Yep. But our two bedroom doors open. Air conditioners are running to heat to cool the whole upstairs. While the hot air is coming out of the bathroom and the windows open, <laughs> there's going to be a fucking thunderstorm at the top of the stairs. <laughs> no, I know she she has to take a hot shower. Yeah, she's one of those people that has to have a hot shower. It can yep. be 97 degrees outside, 98 percent. I can't humidity. take a cold shower. I I will get in the shower and I'll barely turn the water on if it's hot enough. I will take a cold shower. I can't do that. I don't expect her to take a cold shower. It, it's one of those things, and I'm like, that's just how she gets comfortable. It's fine. Yeah. Anything else, I'm turning off lights, I'm shutting doors, I'm opening or closing windows. I, just do it. Like, I pick things up that probably shouldn't, but I just do it. I have there to. There you go. That's an old person thing. That's, can't help it. That's me. <laughs> I'm that guy. Brad's just like, what? Everything. <laughs> Brad's like an 80 year old man. <laughs> what are you it's talking diabetes, about? So, yeah. <laughs> Except for you the just metal. Start there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like my death metal, but other than yeah. that, I'm pretty crotchety. Yeah. yeah. I, I just hate everybody and everything. Yep. I mean, I hate Dave for repeating the same shit story. <laughs> I, I was angry at him for three like, weeks. If he was on the Muppets, which he, sometimes he looks like he should be, he would be <laughs> sitting directly behind the old, the two old guys <laughs> and complaining about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Statler, Waldorf, and Motel 6. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's about it. I, everything. Yeah. Everything. I feel like I filled that role on this show, and I think you're better for it. So it's fuck funny. off. That's where yeah. the qu- the question came from. Like, Brad is angry about everything. Yeah. That He's was just mad my about question. Everything. I think that question was exactly for Brad. It I was. I think it said, how are you an old person, Brad? Brad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's find a question that isn't aimed at me. Mandy, by all means, jump oh, in. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's my first time sticking a hand in the head. <laughs> wow. wow you're clearly not from dorchester <laughs> <laughs> yeah because they're shrimps fucking jacks <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> i wow. have a wicked cackle i apologize that's um, all right if you could get away with murder once who would you kill hmm. oh jesus <laughs> is this a multiple question yeah. um, well but answer your own yeah multiple answer um Wait, can I put a pass? Because like no. I have to like. Nope. Uh, you just told us you had multiples, and now you can't think of one. Yeah, well, I just want to pick the right one. We're not limiting you by all means. I want to pick somebody that like I can't get sued for. Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, but I hate her. Get away with it. That's the whole point. If you can get away with it, I absolutely hate I, Taylor yeah. Swift. Yeah. That's Why? Fair. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> So, Everybody else sit back. <laughs> yeah. So I res- 
back to Taylor Swift and the fact that she's a good role model to little girls and blah, 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 blah. But bitch, shut the fuck up. Every boyfriend dumps you because you won't suck dick and you won't show your belly button. <laughs> and you're annoying as shit. Just shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. Oh, my God. Kanye West interrupted you. Get the fuck over it. I, I, I could probably kill Kanye I, West. No. You, no. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least he stirs the pot. Taylor Swift's like, oh my God, you're mad. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, just go home. You bought a mansion in Rhode Island. Was it Rhode Island? Newport. Yeah. Newport? Yeah. Okay. Westerly, actually. Okay. Next to one, was it yeah. one of the Arnold kids or whoever, the one of the Kennedys that she was yeah. dating, whatever. <laughs> For like three weeks, she's like, oh my God, I'm moving in. I bought a mansion <laughs> next to you. I love you. But I'm not going to have sex with you. And then you're going to break up with me. And then I'm going to write a song about it because I'm so angry. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, I, <laughs> you ask every one of her boyfriends, how was that blowjob? Swift. Yeah. Swift? <laughs> she probably thought a blowjob was... <laughs> <laughs> I had somebody do that to me once. I was shut 14. Up. I was 14, so it, it kind of makes sense. Clearly, they didn't watch porn. <laughs> I'm I mean, just glad you didn't say they were 14. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. I, you didn't no, define two weeks ago. Whether it was a boy or a girl. Yeah. So, like, I where was are we 14, going? and you, you can't you become an art teacher when you're 14. So, was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can be a Boy Scout. Now, was it a she or a he? Because you said they. Oh, let's leave the mystery alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Dave. So yes, I kill Taylor Swift. Thank you. There you go. Wait, oh, but that doesn't sound fair. Oh, we can come back to you. Okay, that, that doesn't sound sense. fair. She said that's just like you know someone's looking at me right now, being like, we gotta watch her. Oh, we got one. We got one listener. That's Joey B. Not happy right now. No, nope. <laughs> I apologize, B. but she's a prude. Move yeah. on. Joey B's taking off his fucking tivas. He's getting all pissed <laughs> off. Wait, this is oh no, the Birkenstocks now. That's right. Uh, Joey's a great guy. Joey's good people. Joey's so, good people. Sorry, Joey, you're the best. <laughs> yeah, I got a quick Taylor Swift story. I was driving into my office one day, and about three blocks from my office, there was some construction, so I had to stop and wait for them. You so know. you took that picture out no, of the no, no, apartment no, no. and decided to go to town? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was I was stopped waiting. It, it's got to be quarter of seven in the morning. It's early. So they just started this construction. I got the windows down. The weather's nice. And that Taylor Swift song came on where she's, she's singing about like... Shake it off. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like... Uh, uh, about writing your name down on something. What the hell was that song? Anyway, it, 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 there's one point where she like, it, there was, this, and I'd heard it enough where I knew it. And it's so early, I'm just driving, and I, I you found myself. Sang it. I found myself singing it out loud. And by the time I caught myself, the construction worker standing next to my car with the stop <laughs> sign was looking at me like, "Go." Just he just mo- shuffled me along to move. He's like, "Go ahead." I was like, "Oh shit." Shit, that happened. You that skip, dude you skipped just, the part where he got the number, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're adorable. The fact that you made up that lie that you're like, oh, I might have heard it and knew the words. I might have like, you it. knew it. You I knew well, to I, it. You I heard it enough it. to know the words. Yep. You downloaded you, it. Listen, you don't have to listen actively to Taylor Swift to know some of the words to some of her songs. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, it's just, everywhere. It's everywhere. Commercials, everything. Yeah. I got a ten-year-old daughter. That that does it right there. That's an, like I, yeah. I'm not driving the kids around in the car listening to, to fucking Pantera and Five Finger Death Punch. Like that doesn't happen all the time. You should be. Yeah. It Why happens not? every so often, but I can't yeah. just berate them. Raise your kids right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Says the woman drinking at the bar at one p.m. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really not even mad about it because it's true. <laughs> I would only get there by 2.30 because that's when school got out. <laughs> thank you. But at uh, least you'd you. show up with other teachers. No. Yep. No, just no. me. It was just, it was just me and her. <laughs> no, I meant like there's other teachers going to bars. No. No. Oh. <laughs> it was just me. <laughs> okay. You're trying to make that's this why a she's thing, not a teacher but, anymore. you know, <laughs> if there were other teachers, I would have hung out with them, but there weren't. So the really. teachers didn't drink? Not like while, while I, you taught, were, for, not I taught for five years, and I was always terrified. I would go to bars far away from the school because I didn't want parents to come rolling in and be like, "Hey, yep. never mind the fact that they're also in the bar at two in the afternoon." I don't want my kid going to you yeah. as a teacher, you know. All right. So I went twenty miles away, and but I did. Nobody else came with me. So why except you, for Mandy. <laughs> 
You're welcome. Thank you. While you were singing that Taylor Swift song, did you think about killing anyone? (laughs) (laughs) Like Taylor Swift? Who's on your list? Kim Kardashian. Oh, I agree with you. Gone. 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 (laughs) I just imagine, like, stabbing her and how much pus would come out. Just, like, like, between her ass and, like, everything would be, like... Do we have to stop at Kim, or can we get her moose of a big sister, too? I'm yeah. good with that. <laughs> Throw them all in there. Um, who, who's the big sister? Was it Chloe? Chloe? Yeah, she's no, wicked Chloe skinny now. the youngest one. Thank you. I don't care if she's the bigger, older sister. She's just the bigger sister. Yeah, she's wicked <laughs> skinny now. Oh, is she's she? She's also 6'3". Yeah. yeah, science is a she's wonderful six, three. thing. Yeah, I know. It's just sad that we yeah. know this, because like I drive my truck all day, and I listen to the radio, so I know stupid shit that I shouldn't know. Like I Taylor write, Swift songs? Yeah. yeah. I write, <laughs> no, the latest, the latest Taylor Swift song, like at one point, she's like, yeah, spelling's fun. And I'm like, I'm sorry, did I put on PBS? Yeah. Like, what the fuck am I listening to? Spelling's fun. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. <laughs> give me a B. Give me an L. Give me an O. Give me a W. <laughs> <laughs> LeVar Burton's at home singing along. Yeah. <laughs> Spanking it. It's like all of a sudden Count Dracula comes on. He's like, hmm, one. Yeah. Two. <laughs> what, uh, uh. <laughs> Brad. Right. Brad. We don't have room on the memory card. Yeah. No, I hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat right now. My uh, just lines one. Are Pick one. Just Pick one. one right now. I kind of yeah. mentioned him a few weeks ago, but he's really dancing on my nerves now. It's got to be Gordon Ramsay. We've gotten rid of Bourdain, so now we're just going to work our way through all of the culinary community. <laughs> <laughs> because that son of a bitch, he's just everywhere. He's either screaming at you or somehow liking a dish that shouldn't have made it out of an oven. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, underneath all that fat and crust lies brilliance. Yeah. And you just want to literally just like stick your foot in the spokes of his motorcycle and watch him go tets up. <laughs> I fucking had it with all British chefs, all pretentious chefs. I have chef friends. They're they're out of this, but if you're like on TV and a chef, just die. Giada and your giant fucking Pez oh, dispenser bobblehead, spaghetti. you can go. I want to fucking strangle her. <laughs> she too. can go. I, yeah. I'm tired of the anybody who claims to be so. Like, what did I say the other day? We were talking about her. I called it the dollar store Natalie Portman. Yes. <laughs> you I know a guy so used to right. watch that. Yeah. I know a guy used to watch her cooking show on mute. <laughs> <laughs> She is kind of hot, though. Like, no she, way. Like, I saw her in person. Her talk. I saw her in person. Her no, head is 90% of her body weight. See this pop figure? That's what she looks like in real life. That's actually like, kind of It's ridiculous. I don't know how she doesn't fall over more. But, like, so many people are, are way more attractive that they just don't talk. Right? Yeah. No, and she never separates her teeth, so it's impossible for her to even eat spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> I, just, I hate the pronunciation. She does because she does everything. Mozzarella. Yeah, mozzarella. mozzarella. And, uh, ricotta. Oh. Yeah, and, and she's like, like, where are you from? Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking fake Italian. Yeah. I don't even like the Italian side of my heritage, but I will defend it against people like Giada. Yeah. Her real name's like Jenny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does she say Giada? Yeah, she probably does she to probably herself does. when she's masturbating in a mirror. I have no problem <laughs> hey. thinking that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Gordon Ramsay... I would take out. There's got to be more. Uh, oh, Wait, what, what, I know this one. Boy. He's really bad at these games. Isn't he, he is horrible. He's yeah, awful. You're <laughs> one, you picked him. I'm sorry, new guy. Were you talking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christy, who do you want to kill? Are you guys sure you want to hear this? Yeah. Yes. We've been waiting to hear from you all yes. night. I actually texted you to say, "Calm down. <laughs> Get, start talking." It's Opie. Okay, oh, no. Opie from, from Opie and Anthony. Opie I'm with Anthony you. Show. All right, why? I, um, oh God, here we go. Did you did you guys ever see that episode of uh, How I Met Your Mother, where like they realize things about each other and the glass breaks? It's like yep. every time. So that happened once Anthony came out and said, like, Opie is a douche, and yeah. he said the Greg shells and and stuff like that. And now I noticed it. And then after. After that other podcast did like a like a Chalktober of Obi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's either him or the guy who um, can't play sober in the proper key at open mic down in, <laughs> <laughs> down in Savannah at Molly McPherson's pub. You know who I'm talking about. 
<laughs> you were quite mad at him. I was so angry. So either I'm mad we're not getting residuals <laughs> for the free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> either Opie, Opie or him. But uh, yeah, Opie. You never realized how much of a douchebag he actually was until you even start, like not joke. even a douchebag. He's he's got he's got something wrong with him mentally. He does. He's a psycho. Yeah. Well, and when, you started seeing it when it was him and Jim. Well, he's well, paranoid. Yes. He's fucking yes. paranoid yeah. beyond belief. He's so when paranoid. he's when he's part when he was part of a group and everybody else is kind of going along with what he's saying or the jokes and things. It's not noticeable. It was, he never made the he jokes. Never, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. But what I'm saying, he's even if he was just on. the one piling on. What she's saying is when someone involved in that calls it out, then you start to pay attention to it and you think, oh, shit, they're the right. O- the only yeah. thing I give him credit for was, is bringing Anthony Cumia into the radio world. He was yeah. a DJ. You know? Yeah. And he was, he was a, a, probably a pretty good one. He yeah. was a listenable DJ when he was spinning music. Yeah. But when they got a talk show, he needed somebody yes. to bounce off of. So he brought Cumia. And then even the two of them couldn't do it. They had to bring in Jimmy. Yep. And then the show finally hit its stride. Well, I don't think, I, I disagree. I think the only reason why they they couldn't do it themselves was because cuz Anthony Cumia can do it. The the guy's brilliant. He's doing I, it now. I think he's fucking hilarious. I love the guy. And I think he didn't have enough to work with with Opie. You know what I'm saying? Like he couldn't play they off. They worked together for 20 years and it, on WAF they were great. Yes, but my no, issue were. with Opie is now, like he's walking down the street, like, "Hey, talk to me." And they're yeah, like, doing and all his live like, videos. What the fuck? It's like this random homeless guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, doing all these <laughs> just Facebook give me food, live man. videos and do, well, man, he's shit. trying to be younger than he is. He's not accepted the fact that he's a fifty-six-year-old crusty old radio guy. He's yeah, 56. and That's he's awesome. not he's not connected to the audience he thinks he's connected yeah. with at all. Yeah. I, you know, I feel bad for him because he was a good rudder for that show, and every show needs one. The other yeah. guys would just go he, off. He understood mm-hmm. radio and what was going on, and he got, like you said, he rudded the show to where it needed to go, whether it was commercial breaks or, okay, we need to move on from this and go on to that. And he was but, funny. Like, the poker chips? The poker chips was hilarious. Yeah. The, the cake stomp was funny, but... Overall, yeah, yeah I, he, you know somebody what? Somebody needs to kill him now. If Opie died today, <laughs> I don't think anybody is angry about it. No. Who's no. Opie? Opie and Anthony. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the show. <laughs> I know. She's looking at her phone. She's Opie's like, a redhead. I thought you guys were all like in the fraternity. Together. It's like not a club. <laughs> like, we talk. He is. <laughs> it's, it's like literally not a club. <laughs> he could have been a model. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. <laughs> what? No, that's, it's that's that's kind of predictable who I'm going to say right out of the gate. Me? I just, right, just be careful. It, he I, is your business partner. I think it fucking daily. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> not, not, As in John Daly? <laughs> no. Nah, it would be... Act, I like golf. Immediately, if you said you can get away with it, I would be on a fucking flight to Moscow right now. <laughs> and I would just, like, stab, <laughs> starting from at the feet all the way up to his fucking eyeballs, Steven Seagal. <laughs> oh, he's a douche. That's I a good one. I fucking hate that guy. He's like a cop now, isn't he? He could yeah, yeah. well, die horribly for enough for me to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> if That's you're a like, good oh, one. He burned alive today. Fucking slowly, though. Like Craig would first, still like, fly there. Like an upside down fucking match. Wouldn't work. Still <laughs> Like not they put him on that little tray that Quiznos used to have and sent him through the oven yeah, really yeah. slow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not fast enough. R.I.P. Quiznos. I mean, not, not, not fucking bad enough. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. Craig would still fly there to piss on his flames. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm looking at you right now, and you are so passionate about I it. I fucking can't stand the guy. It's, oh, this it's, is like and, seven episodes worth of material. This is he, not new. No, he's been like, this is shit has been building up with oh, you. Oh, I fucking can't. I'm, I was a psych major by one class. I didn't graduate college, but I mean, <laughs> um, like, I can just see that building in you. Let me guess. The chip industry was just too attractive. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Honestly, it was the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> the bartending industry. In college. <laughs> um, but also, I think you would kill every single flat earther out there. Them too. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> every flat fucking earther. single one of them. Oh. Everybody love, who thinks. I, just, I was just trolling a guy last night, big time too. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you, you saw <laughs> I love when Facebook does it. Facebook doesn't do much right, but it lets you know when your friends are commenting on like public posts. Yeah. And so it's always just Craig and it's right there. <laughs> and I just I just sit back and you know that like meme with like 
Michael Jackson and the popcorn. Yeah. Like that, that's me. <laughs> I, I just sit back. I'm Whenever like, this Craig is Craig is going. Because Craig is going to have more typos than the flat earthers, but he's still going to make more <laughs> but sense. But I'm still going to. Yep. yep. Um, can, I, can I amend my answer? Sure. Because, okay. So the alderman from my district in Savannah, he should also die. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about trolling on Facebook. <laughs> he blocked me on Facebook last night. <laughs> Did he? Nice. Yeah, uh, that's, I, a, that's a win, though. We have a neighborhood <laughs> association, and uh, I mentioned how their most recent post definitely was geared towards him. They had, like, hashtags like Is elect. Cletus, Clyde. Mm, I but wish I like, no. <laughs> <laughs> gonna avoid that but it was like it was a bunch of hashtags and it was like from alderman blah 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 and then it had a bunch of hashtags so i was like you are you are we uh an informational post or are we campaigning for blah 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 but this guy also um is the was, judge and he runs a hardware store yeah no no, no. he was under investigation <laughs> for, that's legit uh, for underage child sex oh and, nice and he is also the guy who um said that burt's bees killed his dogs his oh, puppies oh that guy Bert, i saw that guy. bees burt's bees they psycho. get you every time no, yeah. he's talking about burt down the street that has bees in his backyard <laughs> like he's, <laughs> it's, it's totally different here no. comes the beard coming but <laughs> burt I, Burton and motherfucking bees just done I, kill my dogs and I shit. Actually followed, I actually followed that whole you saw story. That. Yeah, and then Burton bees that is guy's like, a fucking psycho. If, if you don't, if you don't cease and desist in your, um, your, you know, posting, bad find the words, yeah. Christy. Find the uh, words. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, libel <laughs> well, of our company because they were asking him yeah. for. They're like, if Where something happens to your dog, send us the stuff. We'll take it. We want to know. Yeah. Like we want to know if if our stuff is harming animals. Yeah, we, we need know. to know why. Yeah, yeah. send us the corpse send, of your dog. And then, well, they wanted they wanted oh, the he had six like, puppies, all from, of them died. He they they wanted the thing from the vet, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. They're like, please send it to us. They never in the beginning, they didn't skip a beat by saying, oh my god, you know, we don't think it was us, but please send us these results. We want to know why, and if it was us, we want you know, we don't want people's animals dying. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Burt's bees, so bad. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's the proof? No, I can't. I can't. I don't I don't have it. I, my dog ate it. No, it didn't. It's dead. <laughs> well, she's got like a bucket of formaldehyde right yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. It's just sitting on the floor. Yeah. I'm yeah. with Dave. I think it was the bees. It was. Just, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, right. There. Bert. All right. So we just spent 25 minutes talking about murdering people. Uh, let's get off of that. <laughs> Before, One we finish, the, before we murder this show. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. Too late. Put a fork in it. <laughs> the show got murdered faster. did that faster. three weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> the show got murdered faster than that guy in the elevator in New York yesterday. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> That's a headline you need to check out on your own. We're not playing the audio. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucking rough. Beep. <laughs> it was more of a kersplat. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was pretty rough. But anyway, uh, one of the things we wanted to talk about tonight, because Christy is from up here, and obviously with all this Massachusetts talk yep. and everything that we've talked about, about Dorchester and the Wahlbergs Shrimp. and and potato chip delivery people <laughs> and all of that other thing, yeah. uh, Christy moved from New England to fucking Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. And that is about as extreme a move outside of going to Ghana that you're going to have. So... Let's talk a little bit about, you know, expectations. Like when you got down there, you you went down there for a reason. And so we're going to ask you now, have your expectations been met? What has it been about a year, roughly? A year and a half. year yeah, and a yeah. half. Jesus. All right. Yeah. So talk to us a year and a half later. Are you Near still two months. <laughs> are you still a New Englander <laughs> um, or, or are you a Savannah girl that just grew up in New England? Well, so she was just talking about Tom Brady yesterday. <laughs> I was, I was, I was. <laughs> <laughs> not, not everybody can be Kurt Cousins. That's right. I'm sorry, That's because right. you look just like Tom Brady. You should be comparing yourself. Yeah. To oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks like a dingleberry off Tom Brady's ass after five, <laughs> after an overtime game. 
Ridiculous. Chris. That's saying Tom Brady doesn't wipe, and I'm pretty sure his asshole's clean. You think yeah. Tom Brady's wiping his ass in between snaps? Yeah, somebody else is doing it. Somebody for else is exactly. wiping it. Yep. It's okay, Craig. Back to Christy. <laughs> Craig, has, no, Craig has six rings around his bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you married to your poor wife? <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, so, so Savannah. Um, I moved down south, and I love it down there. Um, they allow guns. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they allow everything else. Um, but, uh, no, I'm very happy to come back north because I drive through, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm back home. Yeah, everything's right, so, familiar sorry, again. So I got I to ask you. I lived in South Carolina for four years. Okay. Why? So I went to college there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and finished. What? Yeah, finished. Congrats. Yeah. yeah, it's a school in South Carolina. It's not that big of an accomplishment. Well, what was the school? <laughs> I went to Clemson. Where? Clemson. Oh, okay. That's actually a pretty big it's school. It's funny because four but, years okay. and he finished. Normally finishes in like 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 uh, <so>. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing is finishing, like a really my friend. Big school, but okay. But <laughs> but you you said you like it down there because they allow guns and stuff. But what, mm-hmm. what besides the the gun laws? What else about being in Savannah do you enjoy? Yeah, because that's a um, massive lifestyle change. And yeah. don't it was tell a me big it culture isn't. shock for me. But I want to hear what your your opinion first. Um, in June 2012, I herniated two discs in my back, and I was so like, let's go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a story to this. So, um, and so I, I was suffering very much and in January or or February, I forget whatever that storm Nemo hit. El Nino. (laughs) No, Nemo. Oh, sorry. Nemo. (laughs) It was a blizzard. Um, so it was was the Greek storm, not the Mexican (laughs) one. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> El Nino. <laughs> it blew in from the back. <laughs> I think it was February. Was it missing a fin? It's funny. It took a bunch of people's jobs. <laughs> just went right through. <laughs> we had Nemo roll through. It knocked out our power. And then we had like a 30-year-old um, uh, water heater. Yep. So it knocked that out and then it knocked it out permanently. <laughs> so I went to a friend's house and as I slipped and fell on ice as I was coming out taking a shower there in the morning because I was like, all right, I need to take a shower in the morning before I go to teach. <laughs> that was back in the day. <laughs> and uh, I, I slipped and fell uh, on their icy driveway because they hadn't been out because it was like, it was like, Five o'clock in the morning. Yep. And they were like, all right. <laughs> we're just going to leave it really slippery and really shitty. And uh, I slipped and fell. And as I hit the ground, I knew that I had just screwed my back up for like six to eight weeks. And yeah, I was like, oh, sucks. no. So as I laid there under the stars at 5.15 <laughs> in the morning, <laughs> I was like, whatever happened to that whole Savannah idea? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Making involuntary ice angels. Yeah. <laughs> so we went down that that summer, and then we went down the next summer, and we, we fell in love with it. I mean, everybody down there is really great, um, except for, you know, some of the people. <laughs> there's, no, there's assholes anywhere you go. Yeah, no, everywhere no, you no, go. But we, yeah. I think like, I've mentioned this before. Is they're very nice to your face. So if you're just walking around town, you don't know better, you get the... Everyone acknowledges you're there. They say hello and, and all that other fun yeah. shit. So it doesn't feel like you're just people are not in your face like they are around here. But they say bless your heart. They do. Which means and like the, fuck you. Yeah. It's so <laughs> funny because we've had you told us that first. Mm-hmm. Then Matt, Matt said it. That's right. And then EJ came on and yep. said it again. <laughs> that's true. And then Matt's wife came on and she was this, the fourth time. Like, and now you're saying it, and it's true. My it's question just so is: funny. Yeah. You've had that many guests on the show? Friends. <laughs> oh, okay, just checking. Yes. <laughs> Maybe sweet. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to ask us is: Are we going to have any more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely not after tonight. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was, it was a serious chips. question. <laughs> so but Savan- Savannah. Savannah's a place where this time of year in the summer, it's uh, like we thought it was fucking humid around here this last couple weeks. It's the worst. It's wor- It's so much oh, worse. See, that I couldn't do it. Because I, yeah, we hit right. like, we get to like 90 degrees here, like 70% humidity. They'll get to like upper 90s in both. Yeah. Yeah, it's nah, all yeah it. literally one of the um, news stations down there, it's like, Nice, nice, miserable, miserable, miserable. Like that's what they put on yeah. there. Yeah, it's no, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, miserable. so that actually begs the question, though, and let's kind of bring this back into the whole culture thing. You moved down there because everybody was so nice, and you moved there because you fell in love with it. But now it's a year and a half later. You've lived there. You've seen the good. You've seen the bad. What? You take them both, and there you have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Sorry. It just popped into my head. I know. I know. And that's you know what that frightens works. me most. And clearly out your asshole. That's well. <laughs> but I got to ask, I mean, are you happy you're still there? Do you miss New England? Because you still have this New England vibe about you. And obviously you grew up here, so th- that's not going away. Right. Yeah. But there's also this love of this new area. Is this meeting your expectations? Dave and I have both lived in a lot of different places. And so, but I don't feel like I've adopted those cultures no matter how long i was there didn't you just live in like new york oh i lived in new york and i'm always going to be a new yorker i'm not a new englander and i'm never gonna be yeah okay i've been here 12 years but you'll never know it yeah i lived in maryland for seven years we do you never know (laughs) we we understand so dave did four years in south carolina and three years in upstate new york which is how he knew about the savannah yeah yeah yeah, so, but, uh, but we're asking you as our guest. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like this is where you're going to end up, or do you feel like this is just one stop of, of many? I think it is where I'm going to end up because only because <laughs> I got a text message a couple of weeks ago, and uh, somebody, whoever I was talking with, was like, "Oh, well, we got a couple more weeks of summer." I was like. I got many more weeks of summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so, perpetual summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, as as warm as it is, um, so when it comes to, like, the humidity, the humidity is bad. It is really bad. See, that's immediately when you say that, and it makes me not even want to go there and visit. But, but from November to May, you don't have a lot of humidity. Yeah. You just sit outside and you write on your computer. It's also nobody, like everybody down south is just slow. They're, yeah. They are Some slow. of them are just fucking dummies. Yeah. But I mean, they move slow they, because it's hot. It's just hot. I just like how you threw air quotes at some. <laughs> yeah. Some. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny. Some's a generic term. Because I can't mean, deal with it. This week it's, was brutal. Yeah. It was hotter. A few weeks ago, we had a, we had a heat wave a few yeah. weeks ago that was hot. It was nothing like this week. No, but which doing wasn't the, as hot doing the kind of work that you do is different. I was like you doing furious. manual labor. Yeah, like, motherfucker next to me just looking at me like I'm in a box truck full of chips all day. Don't yeah. you discount what <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah, I saw your look. You put your yeah. shoulder down, put Preach. your hips back in place. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> but this kid, like, he lays carpet and flooring all day long. Like he's in some places that don't have air conditioning and shit. Like it's and just, it sucks. Yeah. I get it. It's I nice. have the luxury of working at home or being in the office that's air conditioned. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't affect. I'm pretty sure it. most of the it. people that can afford his pricing, they don't have air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my padding my optional. Like, I wasn't. I wasn't. Go, I wasn't like going that route. I just. I just don't like the humidity in general. It's uncomfortable. It just, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like heat. I like the fall. I like the spring. And you don't have a fall down south. No, it doesn't exist. You, yeah, it there are some parts does. of south. You get it. 78 and sunny and less than 60% no, no, no. humidity is not fall. No, but if you go to like no, Virginia like area, that. you get seasons. When you yeah. get down to South Carolina, Georgia. Georgia, yeah. The winter is like 50 and cold rain. That's pretty much no, the no, winter. No, no, no. No, 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 Right, you get up, you go to work, you get a hoodie on. Your balls aren't on your legs. Yeah, you're not <laughs> dragging on the fucking ground, right? And then by about ten in the morning, it starts to get warmer, and you know, by noon it's like sixty, sixty-five, yeah, and then it starts to cool thing. back off again. The ideal, good with that. Ideal. That's yeah. your ideal day. My ideal. ideal day is waking up, having a good solid pee, 
<laughs> going back to bed and Sean somebody and giving me breakfast in bed and then being like, hmm. I'm gonna watch eight hours of Netflix. Well, but no, I mean, you can go no, to don't work. Don't get me that wrong. That's fair. that's fucking fine. That I would love fair. that too. <laughs> I know a lot of people who have gone down there as well, like on vacation, and say it's how awesome it is, and I'm sure it is. And like, I've gone to the most humid place on earth, which was Louisiana. I went down to New Orleans, and it was brutal, and I fucking hate. It. I was there for three New days, Orleans. and I was pissed for New three Orleans. days, yeah. and all I did was drink. So I wasn't so mad at you the time. You have to be hydrated in the humidity. And it's freaking, it was disgusting. I That's hated how it. how Savannah is in July and August. But Yeah, I couldn't deal but, with that. Couldn't deal with it. But you don't have to shovel humidity. You don't have to slip and fall on humidity. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's and the, pretty the, great. The thing I found about the South is when I was down there, it was there was a culture shock for sure, like a big difference. When you get into so. bigger areas, like, Savannah, Savannah and you, is pick very a town, progressive. like pick a city, and it feel it, it's a city. Whatever yeah. it is, like even you take Providence is a city. You throw that down south. I think of like Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah, very similar. You get outside of that. That's when you hit your stereotypes of the South. Yeah. You see that's fucking, why you don't go into yeah. the eight foot tall Georgia rolled hay ever. bales. You see fucking like you know. Everyone you think of, like big southern cops yeah. that have mustaches, you can't understand a fucking thing they yeah. say, and they just beat your it's ass because you're from. Court. Yeah, yeah. I was listen. Yeah. I was called all that on the right in. I was called <laughs> Yankee Boy for four years. <laughs> yep. Yankee Boy. Hey, Yankee Boy, say this. I'm like, fuck you, redneck. And then I just catch a beat in three days. <laughs> that was your fucking professor, it wasn't it? Dude, you, listen, man. It was. <laughs> what kind of beating are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the wrong kind. <laughs> They're not like that anymore. Squeal like a pig, boy. No, but when you... <laughs> like, say that again. <laughs> but when you get outside of those city limits, that's when you see the south. And what yeah. You're, like, yeah, but that's anywhere up here either. No, up here yeah. you go from town to town to town. No. no. Yes, no. It, yeah, it you is. You go west of Worcester and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you go 10 miles and you hit another town. 10 miles and yeah. you hit another one. No. You go down south and you drive 50 Have miles and you, you see nothing but Aspen. fields. You said it on the way in tonight. You said you live in the middle of nowhere. I am five and a half minutes from Craig's house. Yeah. Yeah, well, you both live in the middle no, of nowhere. No, he lives in, in this I live part right of downtown. In downtown. Oh, I'm sorry, but... You're all in Rapeville. <laughs> like, it, it's, I don't it understand. Quite like, rapey around you here. might be yeah. five minutes down the road, but it's like turns and twists, and there's trees and shit. I'm sorry, it's we're crazy. not the booming metropolis of West Bridgewater. Those brown sticks with green <laughs> we have things cows, on them. Okay, we See, have cows. But here's, here's my point. You're saying like this part of Rhode Island is Rapeville. I'm where joking. I, I'm joking. No, I, I, I get was it. But it where I was in South Carolina, it was Rapeville from North Carolina to Georgia. Yeah. yeah. And all the way over to the ocean. Yeah. You know, there was 7 million square acres of Rapeville. And yeah. you felt that. Yeah. It was like yeah, regional really rape. And it wasn't It wasn't gender specific. <laughs> it was really anybody. You felt it. You Hates. felt it, didn't you? Yeah. I'm going to talk about South Carolina. I'm going to pull like, what the fuck? right now What Good is Will your problem hunting? with South Carolina? By the I'm going to pull Craig, Goodwill hunting. I do not live not in South Carolina. So stop giving me laws that happen in South Carolina. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your <laughs> fault. <laughs> Let it out. What, time that one of the sh- coolest things that happened to me in New Orleans, though, not your fault. <laughs> is you know when you say you're in a, you're in a city, so you stop meeting people, and everybody's from everywhere. Yeah, you know you're in the big you're in a bigger city. But I was in New Orleans, and in, even in the hotel, I think like the girl behind the counter was from probably like Michigan or something. You know, it was yeah. it was like that. And oh, she like, looked Aryan? Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted of course. to... <laughs> no, she's trying to recruit me to fucking Al-Qaeda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your beard looks shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> but I tried to... Uh, it was, you know, oh you're trying to, like, meet the... You know, you're in New Orleans, so you're thinking, hey, I'm going to meet uh, wicked fucking crazy Louisiana people. You yeah. Know? And you don't. No. And then I oh, walked into crazy. one store... A fucking block from the Sheridan. And I went to buy a pack of cigarettes and I walk in and no word of a lie, there's a guy behind the counter wearing fucking Fama jeans, like those overalls, <laughs> right? And a t shirt. And I asked him for a pack of Marvel lights. He's like, I was going to say, he said, ah. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and he's wicked, sitting there with a voodoo doll of an ugly oh, Portuguese. Wicked Cajun. <laughs> wicked Cajun guy. Couldn't understand a fucking thing the guy was saying to me. No. He was, I was like, what is it? I uh, change gonna be so I'm like, yeah, that's my change. Whatever, just give it to me because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
<laughs> I just gotta go. I could. I was like, all right, no, I don't want to meet anybody else from Louisiana. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. It was awful. You eat bullshit fake lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those fucking tiny lobsters. Little crawfish. You like, suck their heads off. Yeah. Gross. All right, Dave, let me throw you under the bus here. All right. All right. You've also lived in many different areas. A few. Yeah. So yeah. you grew up in New England. Mm -hmm. You bounced down to South Carolina for college, got yourself an education, and then you kind of rolled back up. But instead of saying, hey, I'm going to come home or, hey, I'm going to go to like a really cool city like New York or Boston, <laughs> you decide, no, you know what? I'm going to go to the failed honeymoon haven of 1961, and I'm going to go live in Niagara Falls for a yeah. while. <laughs> Bring on the heart-shaped tubs. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Gel beds and mood movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me, what the fuck were you doing there? I, My first job out of school, I got with this. It was another insurance company, and they assigned me to this region. That's where yeah, they like, sent me. <laughs> Gel bed. Yeah, right. I feel, like he, wooden and, barrels. I feel like the South is getting a really bad reputation. Oh, wait. I haven't wooden talked about Buffalo insurance. yet. Like, yeah. insurance sucks enough, but the fact that you've got to be sent to Niagara Falls. And I lived halfway between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Sounds fantastic. You were in the burbs. Yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, crazy thing was, the town I lived in, Amherst, New York, for four or five years in a row was the safest city in this, the country. Well, when nobody lives there, it's pretty <laughs> safe. <laughs> but you're there by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, they had a population of like 120,000 people. You know people. That's, a, that's like selling a house next to a cemetery and saying, we got quiet neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys get, right. did you get stickers? Like Who had the month? water no. in the... <laughs> did you get cemetery? stickers? Every month that there wasn't a murder or anything or a crime no. committed. Like, hey, guys, guess what? We're on the good Every, board. Here's a sticker. A, everybody gets a check Star for you. <laughs> that really, it was the safest place. It was. Yeah. And actually, the year after I moved in, it, it got knocked off the list because there was a double homicide. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't and made. Immediately it's, 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 not, it's not a murder, yeah. she wrote situation. Really. No, it was no, a no. schizophrenic who committed suicide. Yeah. No, but Buffalo was a strange... <laughs> <laughs> It's the safest place. It was You're the it only was person strange. who got mugged downtown at That's the right. ice cream shop. It was a strange place know. to live, Buffalo, because the, the climate is very similar to where we are here. Yeah, they get Except more for snow. The fucking seven hundred feet of snow. Listen, they get more snow, but they also know how to handle it. So in, in Buffalo, they had certain parking lots and areas that were designated as snow lots, which meant if it started snowing, that's where they put it all. That's where they bury it. Yeah, they used to be able to dump it into Lake Erie. But they stopped that because of all the pollution. Was it too Because of the town down the river, just everybody's <laughs> yeah. drowning. Well, when Cleveland caught on fire, they yeah. shut that down. Yeah. Shit was too salty. Yeah. <laughs> there were a few too many salty bitches up in there. Spit all the salt out. Yeah. They can handle the snow. The climate's the same. Yeah. The, the thing was, there's nothing else to do. It was Buffalo... The suburbs, and that was it. Hey, wait. And drugs. Was it Buffalo that you could go and pee on the midget for five bucks? It was in Buffalo, yes. Yeah. See, what do you <laughs> yeah. mean? It had the best thing you could ever do. It was in Buffalo, yes. Wait, I'm sorry. Yes, I just saw right here. Buffalo you could pee on somebody for five dollars. No, no, not somebody. <laughs> a midget. A midget yeah. wearing a, midget. a yellow raincoat. Five dollars. <laughs> okay. So in the hat, was... like he was out catching fish, but it was too big for him. It looked like you put your your kid in like your own raincoat. He was what like is... a fucking Gordon's fisherman. Yeah, but like wicked tiny. <laughs> and you what could pee on him for five it... bucks. It was what only five bucks. I was, I was a full grown adult with the same attire. Could I get ten? No, no. <laughs> I, like, well, I'm maybe. just asking for a friend. I <laughs> guess. <laughs> like, if you're a midget and you get peed on for five dollars, I'm a full grown adult mm -hmm. at five eight ish. <laughs> so Could I get ten? You prorated, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I am not down for anything. I mean. You know we're not getting social security, so I'm down yeah. for that. If I have to get pissed on a few times. Yeah. Is the chip business cash. lagging right now? Yeah. Oh, fuck no. People are fat. You see, if you did so. it once, you cover your Netflix bill for the month. <laughs> I <great>. don't know. <laughs> and, you got, and you can buy a coffee. You're all set. Who pays for Netflix? I get that shit for free. I steal from my brother. Everybody else yeah. does. Like, I was nobody. Say you for me. Hulu. I steal Hulu from you. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> you also steal my HBO. You're yeah. welcome. Fair, fair trade. Fair. That's fair, fair trade. Continue that with the midget who gets peed Well, on. that was the fair trade. $5 but, bill, you get the pee on a little person. But that was the only thing you could do down there. Did that you was do it? it? Did you do it? I didn't do it. I saw it happen. Why? Why? Yeah, why not? He didn't have five bucks at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would, if anybody gave me the opportunity to pee on them, because well, I just would. It was one of those things where when you when you see it, you're almost so much in shock. You're like, holy shit. This is happening. And there's a line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was like three or four dudes waiting to pee on this midget. So that's, that's your line. Your line is not peeing on a midget. I'm just asking for a friend. Like, Dave just meant he didn't line. have a roll of quarters to make them dance like he's on a pot of gold. <laughs> It was it, that was one of the crazy things, but there was there wasn't That's a lot else going on in Buffalo. Things. There wasn't. It was just the way it was. That's it was why it was the those, safest place to live. Everybody got their front no one cared. out. <laughs> that was they're wearing midget. raincoats. They're safe. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those cities that died after like the whole steel boom, like the railroads yeah, died yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Cleveland, Detroit, even like that whole yeah. rust belt they call it. Those all Do you those mean cities, the Pittsburgh Steelers. They died. That's just what happened to those cities. They yeah. couldn't keep up. They died. Was, all they could sorry. do in Buffalo is drink and, and play darts and bowl. That's what they did. Yep. Well, There's two seasons talking? in Buffalo. August I, th- and I winter. think they put a little too much stock in the pissing on midgets economy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, when we talk about bowling, are we talking big ball or little ball? No, no. Like big ball leagues. Like people are fucking competitive out there. They don't joke around. Oh, I don't even try. Like, straight up, like every night there's a league going. Leagues. Fucking... They don't fuck around with bowling out there. What brought you back to New England? <laughs> more job opportunity to be honest and once i left buffalo i didn't i didn't I, there's not a lot of bad i can say about it It was a fun place when i look back on it it was i wasn't sure about it i was 22 when i moved to buffalo buffalo is not new england no it's not new england no. what i was saying is the climate is very similar yeah yeah okay. it doesn't know it's if worse. it's 20 degrees outside i don't care how much fucking snow you get you're not leaving anyway it doesn't yeah, matter. yeah yeah but Similar climate. There's just more to do here. There's more options. Yeah. Because there's more areas. When you get out that part of the country, you have Buffalo and then woods, suburbs, which is basically a ring of individual towns. Mm Yeah. And then nothing for sixty miles. Yeah. Until you get to Rochester, which is a smaller city, smaller suburbs, and then nothing until you get to Syracuse, which is a fucking (laughs) shithole. It was fun when I was there because my buddies and I, I actually, one of my friends from college was from Buffalo. I stayed there. We ended up hooking up with him. We'd go out to a bunch of bars and, and stuff. And But other than that, if I had, if my friend from college wasn't there, I, I don't know what I would have done for three years. It yeah. was that yeah. boring. Yeah. Oh, so you were happy to come home. I was happy to come home, yeah. Yeah, okay. So basically, your travel, I mean, you had a good time in college, but when it was, blast. But it was done, it was done. Yeah. You had no desire to stay down south. Did not. So you came back north, and then eventually you came back home. Yeah. I did the same thing, not nearly as far. But I grew up on Long Island. I went down to Maryland for school, which everybody's like, oh, three and a half hours from New York City. It's It's still different. But it's very different. Actually, I learned something in my freshman year of college at Maryland. (laughs) The second highest contingent of KKK in the country is in eastern Maryland. Really? Yeah. To this day, we had a cross burning my freshman year on campus. Really? Somebody put a cross burning at a school known for ACC basketball. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Also, one of the highest Jewish populations per capita in the country is just outside the Beltway in DC. Yeah. Which so, Greg appreciates. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Love Beep. it. Beep. Nobody questioned where Craig was that night. <laughs> I was just going to say, Craig's like, those motherfuckers never caught me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it was it was a culture change, even though it was only three and a half hours yeah. in New York, you know. But I I came home, and yeah, I went to New York City. But when you grow up on Long Island, you feel like you're in the suburbs of New York City. You never feel like you're a Long Islander. Anybody who tells you they were born and bred, I love Long Island, they're lying. It's a highway, and either you're a North Shore or a South Shore guy. Yeah. And ultimately, it's just how easily you can get back into the city. <laughs> how far are you from the the expressway, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What exit? What yeah. exit? Just like the Jersey Turnpike. What what exit were you on? I was exit Brad 64. But but about this being a New Yorker, right? <laughs> but he's, but that's as right. Much Come on, as tell I like me. Tell, his balls, tell me more about Savannah. All right. But the something you said about you grow up someplace, you leave for an extended period of time, like I did. I spent four years down south, three years in Buffalo, mm-hmm. came home. 
Brad did something similar when he, you know, he left. But what's yeah. the when constant you, here? But hey, when you there. come back home, you have a different appreciation for what it is. Yeah. There's always a comfort coming back no, home. That's true. But you appreciate different things, I think, when you come back. I think, and yes. I, I, I don't want to say it was a letdown, but when my time was up in Maryland, my time was up. Yeah. It was time to come home. Yeah. And so I wouldn't look at it as a letdown, but maybe some of these trips that we've taken and some of these moves. I know when Craig moved from Bristol to Warren. <laughs> I was going to say, I seen, I've never, I can walk in, an, in one hour, I could walk to every place I lived. Like, no, and I'm talking about walk to all of them in that hour. Like, yeah. hey, I lived there, I lived there, and I lived there, and I'm back. And that includes him stopping and gasping for air. Yes. They yeah. are. I live yeah. there. Now, those, like, but that's, but I've traveled. I'm not one of those people that have never left. Like, I know people at our bar that are like, I haven't been to Providence in fucking 15 years. Yeah. And I'm like, what? It is five it's and a half miles fucking, away. It's fucking a 10 minute drive how you know i but they have no need because they they're have, comfortable where they yeah. are yeah. See, and to them it's a letdown to not be home yeah yeah it is you know what's a letdown yeah you know and i wasn't let down by my experiences i really wasn't i just but i do i think i could live in maryland today probably not yep yeah, I can see that. And but despite I, everything I've said on the show, I'm also not let down by living here. I don't have this desire to live in New York City anymore. I do like going back a lot. Yeah, yeah I love going know? to New York City. I go, I, me and my wife go all the time. We go to New York City for a weekend. It's a great time. I couldn't live there. You know, I, I just but couldn't. But having lived there, I don't think I could live there anymore. Yeah. And my wife's going to do jumping jacks when she hears this. Yeah. But I love your wife, by I, the way. I know, and I know you want to see her doing jumping jacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. She just looked around no. like, wait, is she? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This yes. might be the bounciest show we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> she is she is a beautiful lady. Yes, no, she is. I couldn't I couldn't live there. I love the place. I love going there for the weekend to say to spend fucking 24/7 there. No. I couldn't do it. I would get frustrated fast. I get frustrated here when it's like like today. I I talk about a traffic jam. For 10 minutes, I was stuck in traffic because there was an accident. And I was just fucking furious. 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I was furious. Now, I have friends out west that live in like L.A. My, my, actually, my cousin's husband. That will spend husband. four yeah, hours right. in traffic coming home Regularly. from work. They, yeah. That's... I couldn't do it. I would fucking murder someone. I'd be no, on the news. I would lose my fucking mind. I ten minutes because I I work less than a mile. Like I drive to our main base of operation. Basically, is a mile and a half from my house. <laughs> yeah. <know>, so <laughs> headquarters. Yeah. So I drive. I drive there every morning. The way home on the way back, it's always busier because I leave late from in the, the morning. mile, which you could walk. Yeah. Oh. I could on the way home I could probably walk home faster. But why don't you? I get fucking furious. Furious. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This is ridiculous. All Come right. On. I tell you what, guys, I think we should put a fork in this one. We do have to do a bright side. We do. There's we always do. a bright side to every story. Yeah, uh, right. And so we've got one coming out of our favorite country, Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Mexico. All right. Mexico. And the headline reads Mexico. A Mexican judge actually uh, approves recreational cocaine use for two users, but the the, the caveat here is that this might actually turn into to nationwide. The, yeah, that's they're appealing it for a nationwide law where everybody can have a certain amount of cocaine and use it recreationally. So, um, who just got busted from the Patriots? <laughs> Patrick like that. Chung. That's Patrick my Chung? that's my third bullet. So was it? Shut yes. your hole. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just on. I'm just on top. I'm on. Well, usually I am, but yes, go for it. All right. So, Craig, lead off. This is your segment. What is your bright side about Mexico approving <laughs> recreational cocaine use? Siesta will be a thing of the past. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I thought there were two or less people we have to worry about trying to break into our country. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had to think it was kind of hard to get addicted when you're going to get beheaded the next day. <laughs> Fruit picking production is way up. 
The Mexican Department of Tourism has a new slogan for their white sand beaches. <laughs> I think this is the best way to get energy to scale those large walls. <laughs> Look out, Kenya. The Boston Marathon just got real. <laughs> It's all Craig. It's all Craig. Uh, the U.S. Border Patrol has to now say pick line A or B instead of just pick a line. <laughs> I think the Mexican women can save some in their mustaches for later. <laughs> oh my God. That was it. That's totally going in. Yeah. It's going, I'll own oh, that. No, that's going in. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there's there's medicinal use for cocaine now if they're proving for recreational only. Yeah, <laughs> I feel sick. Yeah, I wish I knew this before I got here. I know, here. right? She's She's like, I would have been in Mexico tonight, not yeah. here. <laughs> I think it's funny what? that there were only five thousand Mexicans at the Battle of the Alamo because they, <laughs> the army only had two vans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally going in. I own this one. I got another one here. Hold on. Go, hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Uh, what do you call a Mexican midget? Paragraph, because he's not a full essay. <laughs> You're not appealing to is your a little trend. people. <laughs> Craig is a trend. <laughs> And here's one for the Patriots fans. Patrick Chung can leave the Patriots and go play for Mexico City. There he is. There, there, is. there it is. Innocent until proven guilty. Uh, he's guilty. He's already <laughs> got his plane ticket. Whatever. <laughs> he rolled up his fucking court file and snorted a fat line with it. I'm just, I'm just picturing Patrick Chung, the black kid playing football in Mexico with a bunch of Chinese fans. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all wrong. <laughs> Every single one of them. Wong. They're all Wong, <laughs> not wrong. Yes. 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 Two Wongs don't make a white. Two. And the worst part is he was just snorting up MSG the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> well done, ma'am. Well done. All nice. right. <laughs> Let's put a cap in this one. Let's do a little housekeeping. First of all, thank you to Mandy and Christy for sitting in tonight and hanging out with us. This was a great time. Mandy and Christy, if you want to say something, now is the time. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at Christy, and I don't know if she can actually physically say something. I can. I can. She's good. She's good. All right. So, first of all, we have swag, and we're about to have a whole lot more after this episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shirts we are going to create. Oh, I got a koozie. But what you want to do is you want to go check us out on represent.com slash store slash NTS podcast. In addition, check us out on social media. It's at NTS underscore podcast on Twitter at NTS no underscore podcast on Facebook. And you want to check us out at full underscore uh, full lowercase letters. Needless to say, podcast on Instagram. In addition to that, we want to give one more shout out to Endeavor Podcast Solutions for Absolutely. putting up with us, tolerating us, and possibly dropping Sponsor. us after yeah. this episode. I'm possibly <laughs> driving you home. <laughs> We'd also like to thank the Uber that's going to take Christy home tonight. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> no, you're Boober. All right. <laughs> Seems fair. Seems fair. <laughs> I can't All help right. it if I had processed chicken as a child. All right. I got nothing else. Uh, gentlemen, you got anything? No, I don't. I do not, sir. All right, ladies, do we have anything else to say? Needless to say. Oh, we said it. <laughs> <laughs>